sometimes in so many different ways, I feel like I've transcended the normal understanding of wildlife. I think I've transcended in their eyes too. Let me introduce y'all to Florida's largest wasp species here. Uh, one of two actually. This is the cicada killer and uh, it will sting you if it's a female. Three. Hasn't got penetration. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh, yeah. ah. It has no intention to sting you. Why would it? Because it pretty much knows that that's suicide. It embedded. It went deep. Okay, that was definitely, definitely. Um, I've noticed now when I first started this channel, I felt as though I had to capture creatures. Like I had to capture them before the camera. And that's the kind of thing I hear a lot of wildlife YouTubers talking about. Is that let me capture the creature. So he's on my neck. He's gonna go into my ear hole, of course. But uh, yeah, and that um, I've captured you, you're a hostage. It's more so about understanding that I'm capturing the animal or creature in its essence and preserving its um, freedoms because they should have freedoms too. You know, animals deserve to live here on this planet with us. And uh, so just kind of a cool species to see. Now, uh, I don't know why it climbed the top of my head. I think here in this next video that I'm going to show you with me holding this cicada killer, you'll see that it's more so about capturing the essence and, uh, and sharing this place with um, that beautiful insect than so capturing in order to keep. Um, to me, it's way more valuable to capture the photograph, let it go and move on so that way somebody in the future can see it. And maybe they'll run across my video again. Maybe that insect will go out and have babies and the babies will find some other wildlife lover and, and they'll want to know more about that creature and they'll get turned on to my video or something. It is tickling me with its stinger. But uh, no intention to do me any harm. Back and it'll probably... It flew. Okay, and it's gone.